Before you skip straight in the video, check the timestamps down below because the first part will teach you how to change the app icons on the iOS 16 and you are with the option of removing this notification right here. The second part of the video will teach you how to change the app icons on iOS 15 and older with an easier method with the option to remove the shortcut notification. But that method also works on iOS 16 and newer if you do not want to remove the notification or the iOS 16 method is too hard for you. Do keep in mind iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max or any iPhone with a dynamic notch needs to watch the iOS 15 method as the iOS 16 and newer method doesn't work. Then finally I will showcase how to remove the notification. Keep in mind uh, if you have an iPhone 14, 14 Pro that's not going to work. If you followed the iOS 15 and older method to change app icons on iOS 16 then you will not be able to remove the notification. Starting out with changing the app icons on iOS 16, remember you need to watch later in the video for removing the shortcut notification where the timestamps are. The first step is we're going to open up the shortcuts app. From here you want to go to all shortcuts. You do that by just tapping on the shortcuts button here. Now we're going to see the plus, we're going to tap on the plus. So we need to create this shortcut once and then every other shortcut we use uh, will have that different app icon and we link to this shortcut, okay? So we're gonna select add action, search, and you're gonna search for show notification, select this one and no other ones. And then you're gonna see we have the shortcut called show notification and you see show notification right here. Once you've done that, just tap on done. Now, we're going to create shortcuts to change the app icons. You repeat this step for every single app icon you would like to change. The shortcut which shows the notification, you only create once. So to change the app icon, again, do the shortcut for every app. You're gonna tap on the plus. From here, you're gonna select add action. You then go to search for, very important, you get this right, run shortcut okay you're going to select run shortcut and not open shortcut if you select open shortcut which weirdly people were doing when that isn't what you're meant to do uh this tutorial is just not going to work okay so what you do is you select run shortcut very important you select run shortcut tap on this one and then where you see the shortcut tap on this and you just want to select the shortcut which shows the notification. You can see this one right here. This is what we created earlier. For every app icon you change, you just select this exact shortcut, show notification. Now, we're gonna search for open app. You're gonna tap on the app, and then you're gonna tap on the empty field here, and you're gonna select the app you would like to open. So in my case, the app store, now we're going to tap on the arrow here we're going to select rename and we're going to rename this to open and then the app name so in my case app store when you do create multiple shortcuts you just want to change the name right here for every shortcut you create now you're going to select the share icon you're going to find add to home screen and from here make sure you change this to have the app name you would like, in my case, App Store. And we want to change the icon too. So just tap on the icon here, select, choose photo, and just choose the custom app icon you would like. So in order to get these custom app icons, just search up custom, the app name, and an icon. You can also find it on social media like Pinterest. So select your custom app icon, select choose, and then tap on add. So right now, you can have an app icon which is changed on iOS 16. However, by default, there will still be notifications which appear. So if I select the app here. You must select allow for open app store to run another shortcut. If you select don't allow, you will need to delete the shortcut you created from the shortcuts app and recreate it because it literally won't run. So we'll tap on allow. And right now, we have a, uh, changed the app icon 
well, we have this notification, which is showing up every single time. So now skip to the timestamp where I show how to remove the notification. But for now, I'm gonna showcase how to change the app icons on iOS 15 and older for the option of removing notification and iOS 16 and newer. But this method has no option of removing the notification. Now let's go through changing the app icons on iOS 15 and older with the option of removing the notification and iOS 16 and newer without the option of removing the notification. So the first step is we're gonna open up the shortcuts app from here, you want to find the plus. If you don't see the plus, just tap on my shortcuts here, then select all shortcuts and the plus should be available. Tap on this one and then tap on add action. You're then gonna search for open app. You should see here, open app. Tap on this one. You're gonna see the app here, tap on this and then select the application you would like to open. So in my case, Safari, I'll select this one, and then you're gonna see the shortcut name, just name this to open, and then the app name. So in my case, Safari. This just means when you create multiple uh, custom app icons, uh, you're not gonna forget which app icon is which. Now, you're gonna tap on the share icon here. You're gonna see add to home screen, select this, you're gonna see the home screen name, just change the name to the app uh, name you would like. So in my case, just Safari. Then tap on the app icon here, choose photo, and then select your custom app icon. If you need to get your custom app icons, just Google custom, the app name you want, then icon, or go onto Pinterest or other social media. And then once you have that app icon, just select add. So right now we are still going to get shortcut notifications. Every time we open up the app, you see that banner shows up showing shortcuts, okay. So now I'm going to showcase multiple methods in order to remove the shortcut notification. Again, if you followed what I just did and you're on iOS 16 or newer, don't bother because this method simply will not work. In order to remove the notification for iOS 16 and newer only, for iOS 15 and older, check the timestamp down below. We're gonna open up the settings app. You're then gonna select screen time and just make sure if you don't have screen time on, you turn it on right here. Now we're gonna find the app in question, with the custom app icon, and we're gonna spam open it about five times. So one, two, three, four, Five. What this does is it tells screen time that shortcuts has been sending notifications. And when it knows that, we can remove the notification. So now go back into the screen time settings. You're then going to select see all activity. You're gonna to scroll to the bottom and you should see here notifications and you should see shortcuts. Now, I don't have the option to tap into shortcuts to turn off the notification, okay, it's not working. So the solution is you're going to scroll up, you're gonna see the 60M, 30M, just slide back and then reverse it, okay? So you slide to the right then slide to the left and now we have the option to select this right here. If that still doesn't work, spam open the shortcut in question five more times Go back into screen time, repeat that process until you have the arrow here. Okay, these steps apply for iOS 16 and newer. So we're gonna tap into shortcuts here and we're gonna turn off allow notifications. But every time you restart your iPhone, this will reverse, okay? It will turn back on, which means you will need to repeat this step every single time you restart your device. If you don't want to do that, I understand, uh, but just try and not kill your iPhone, okay? Just make sure uh, you have enough charge overnight, etc. And now when we open up the app on iOS 16 and newer, half the time you, you will see absolutely no notification. Sometimes you will see a small banner here that shows up. Sometimes it will just show up fully. If you would like to increase the success rate of the notification not showing up, you can see these past two attempts, it kind of just gave itself up, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the shortcuts app, 
tap on automation you're going to see here create personal automation tap on this one from here you're going to find where it says app you're then going to choose the apps you change the app icon for so you only need to create one automation just add more apps as you you know include them then tap on next don't add any actions here tap on next again turn off ask before running but turn on notify when run and then tap on done make sure that screen time notifications is off and now you can see earlier things weren't working but now almost every single time you're not going to see the little banner and if you do see the banner it's for a very small amount of time a split second if anything and you're never going to have the issue where you see the full banner show up and if that does happen something glitched in the os okay you can see before it was like every five every ten times you'd see the full banner show up but now it is not showing up at all in order to remove the notifications on ios 15 and older you have a very simple solution so you can see right here the shortcut pop-up is showing up and in order to remove this you're going to open up the shortcuts app from here you're going to find where it says automation you're then going to select create personal automation or tap on the plus at the top right hand side now scroll to the bottom you're going to see app tap on this one you're then going to see app here select choose and then select all of the applications you created a custom app icon for then you just tap on next add action you're going to search for number tap on number and then find next turn off ask before running don't ask and done so this only works for ios 15 and older and you can see absolutely no notification is going to show up and everything is perfect with those tricks you have now removed the shortcut notification regardless of the ios firmware the only downside is with ios 16 and newer you will have the applications open sideways compared to ios 15 and older where they kind of open up normally on top of this ios 16 you may see a little banner show up every now and then whereas ios 15 the banner will never show up so with that being said thanks for watching leave a like because this took a while to make bye bye